Crocodilians, alligators, crocodiles, caimans, and their kin kill hundreds of people each year. While most of these attacks occur in Africa and Asia, these powerful reptiles are also found in parts of South America, Australia, Mexico, and the southern United States. Crocodilians typically do not include humans in their diet. But in truth, they will eat just about anything if given the opportunity. They will also defend their territory vigorously, especially during more mating season. The best way to stay safe in these animals' habitat is to give the creatures space and exercise caution around water where they may live. In the event that you are attacked, you may be able to survive if you fight back strategically. Avoiding an attack. Learn where co crocodilians live and stay away. The only sure way to survive an encounter with a crocodile or alligator is to never meet one in the first place. Crocodilians live in the tropical regions of Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia, and depending on the species, can live in both fresh and salt water. If you live in our or visit a tropical region, ask local residents and authorities about the presence of crocodiles, alligators, or caimans before approaching any bodies of water. Take warning signs about the presence of crocodiles seriously. Never go swimming outside of designated areas and regions where crocodilians are known to live. If a potential swimming area is unmarked, do not assume that it is safe. Interestingly, almost 95% of recent crocodile attacks in Northern Australia have involved locals. Don't let your familiarity with crocodilians lead you into a false sense of security around them. Use extra caution during breeding season. Alligators and crocodiles are at their most dangerous during mating and breeding season when they are more aggressive. These animals are also more frequently encountered on land during this period, as they sometimes wander in search of a mate or suitable nesting site. Nesting mothers are especially ferocious and will defend their nests viciously. The breeding season for crocodilians differs by species and location. If you live in an area where they live, familiarize yourself with the habits of the native population and be especially on guard during breeding season. Breeding season for freshwater crocodiles in Australia typically begins in July and August, with nesting season extending from September to April. Florida's alligator population usually breeds beginning in May with breeding and nesting season lasting for several months. During breeding season, remember to use caution both on and around infested waters and when walking through grass or vegetation near the water. Do not walk your dog near alligator or crocodile habitats. Crocodilians are attracted to the sound and movement of small animals, and American alligators are reportedly quite fond of eating dogs. If you do walk your dog near the water, keep it on a leash and be on guard for any movement on or near the water. Do not allow small children to play near the water's edge or remain unattended in crocodilian countries. Crocodilians prefer smaller prey and unfortunately attacks on children are quite common. Reacting to a crocodilian encounter. Keep your distance from alligators and crocodiles when you see them. If you do spot a crocodilian, keep as far from it as possible. Australian wildlife officials state that the minimum safe distance from crocodiles on the water is at least 25 meters, about 82 feet, and that boats should stay at least 10 meters, 33 feet away. Large crocodilians can launch themselves through the water at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour, 37 miles per hour, faster than most people can react. Crocodilians can also launch themselves vertically from the water. Don't stand on docks or low bridges over water, or lean over the side of boats or hang from trees over infested waters.
Never approach an alligator or crocodile nest. If you spot baby crocodilians or a nest, leave the area as quickly and quietly as you can. Mother crocodilians will defend their young fearlessly and must not be provoked. Occasionally, crocodilians wander into populated areas, especially when people live very close to the water. If you encounter a crocodilian in your backyard, pool, etc., first get to safety and then call the local authorities. If you fall into water where crocodilians live, remain calm. Splashing around and shouting attracts attention from crocodilians and may incite them to attack. Swim or wade to the shore as quickly, quietly, and calmly as you can, preferably staying below the water's surface to avoid splashing. If a crocodilian snaps or charges at you on land, run. Should you accidentally happen upon an alligator or crocodile, or if one begins to move towards you, run away from the animal as quickly as you can. As fast as they are in the water, the top land speed for a crocodilian is only 17 km per hour, a speed that most humans can surpass over short distances. Be sure to run away from the water to avoid running into the jaws of more crocodilians. Forget the conventional wisdom about running in a zigzag pattern to escape. The quickest way to escape an alligator or crocodile is in a straight line. This is because humans and other animals run faster in straight lines. Surviving an attack. Attack the animal's eyes. Attack the animal's head. Attack the palatal valve behind the animal's tongue. Seek medical attention immediately. Not only do crocodilian attacks tend to cause a lot of tissue damage and blood loss, they can also quickly lead to infection. These animals harbor a massive amount of bacteria in their mouths, and even a minor bite from a small alligator or caiman can quickly lead to infection if not treated right away.